Hello and welcome to a very special episode on my channel because this is the unboxing of the brand new Nikon Z 400mm 2.8 VRS DC with the inbuilt 1.4x teleconverter. So this is again courtesy of Book My Lens, the rental company in Bengaluru, uh, who have very kindly sent me an absolutely unopened copy for me to unbox for you. But more importantly, this is one of the first pieces in the whole of India and therefore Book My Lens makes it possible for you to hire and try the latest and greatest gear so that you always have access to what is worth trying. So let's go ahead and unbox it. First some padding, I suppose for the lens pouch, a printed rudimentary manual, a warranty very very similar to what we get with the Z9. We have a strap, the Nikkor strap and actually yes there is a z series sticker indeed uh, what's left of course is the lens itself this is the lens bag all oh, right this is a bit clumsy here because this piece of bubble wrap is actually wedged against the hood Okay, after a long struggle, I have managed to retrieve the lens from its packaging and mounted it on the Z9, as you can see here. I thought it would be like playing Wordle, but it was rather more like uh, solving the Rubik's Cube. Okay, where do we start? Uh, there's a lot to unpack here, but let's start from the front, uh, perhaps makes sense. And the first thing you see is this little short gap, which now is very, very Canon-like. And it's quite convenient to put on, or in fact, to remove. The outside of the hood doesn't have the typical carbon fiber pattern, but that's fine. The screw is nice and secure. Then you have a large knurled area, and then you have the function buttons, you have plenty of them, which you can program, of course, with the help of the LFN button at the back to perform a memory recall function where you can snap to a focal plane which has been set into the memory. Then, of course, you have this little ring here using which you can set the ISO exposure compensation or aperture more smoothly than you can with the camera if you're already in the middle of a video and want to alter any of these uh, settings. Then of course you have the focus ring which is surprisingly narrow to be honest. I was expecting it to be wider and uh, chunkier. Uh, I just hope that it's not too far back uh, especially when you're hand holding. I hope it falls to hand uh, pretty easily. Then you have the tripod collar which again just like what we saw with the 100 to 400 mm is nicely damped is nice and smooth to turn um, and all very good here no problem at all. Then coming further back of course is the biggest talking point of this lens which is the built-in 1.4x teleconverter which lets you seamlessly toggle between a 400 mm f 2.8 and a 560mm f4 which is almost a 600mm f4 in just half a second with just the flick of a switch. Now I have waited many many years for this ever since Canon introduced this feature in their 200-400mm. to I always thought that this would actually be more useful with a prime lens simply because at least in a zoom lens you have the ability to zoom out a bit, zoom in a bit you have some sort of compositional flexibility whereas in a fixed focal length lens that is completely lacking. So let's go ahead and give it a try and see how it works. So here we have the switch. Uh, what is very important is that there is a lock here which needs to be unlocked uh, in order for you to be able to move this. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a flip. There you go. Wow, that's a pretty loud sound I have to say. A bit disconcerting at the beginning. That's a very, very loud sound. It's a lot of glass moving inside and hitting the container within which the converter is housed. But I'm used to this simply because the Canon implementation was also very similar. That used to make a loud sound as well. And also because the converter is housed within, it's more protected from the elements and hopefully uh, it shouldn't be affected as much by moisture and dust, which external teleconverters always did. Uh, then you have a rather spartan switchboard, which is how I like it, to be honest. I like it to be very simple, and simple it certainly is, because there are only two switches here, the autofocus manual focus toggle, 
and then the focus limiter where you have only two options full or infinity to six meters you also have the eyes or the loops for the strap right here and then finally at the back you also have a pinch drop-in filter as well a pretty tiny one so if you want to slip in a polarizing filter or something like that you can of course the Nikkor badging is this typical Z style Nikkor badging these days and of course it does have that yellow ring in the front to signify that it's a very special lens it's an S lens after all all right so having spoken about all of that having taken you on a tour from the front to the back of the lens I think the burning question on your mind right now is how handholdable is it even on paper this is significantly lighter than its F mount 400mm f2.8 counterpart because it's a full 20% lighter pegging in at about 3 kilos compared to 3.8 kilos for the older lens which itself the FL version if you remember was lighter than the earlier versions uh, but this is further 20% lighter than that including the teleconverter housed within which is quite creditable but does that make it more handholdable I would say to a certain extent yes as you can see I am of a slight build and you don't have much upper body strength I'm afraid uh, but even I am able to handhold it for short periods of time I think I should be able to get away with it uh, in certain situations certainly on safaris where I have to quickly pick up point and shoot uh, for some time but if you ask me if it is handholdable enough to say trek in the Himalaya uh, for a half a day or an entire day uh, without a monopod or a tripod waiting for birds to take off from perches and things like that i would say probably not okay it's about 7 30 in the morning right now as you can perhaps see from my puffy face i've just come back from shooting uh, for, on my terrace a few black kites pigeons barbets parakeets miners tailor birds etc and I think my first impressions were wrong, I have to confess. This brute is actually handholdable for extended periods of time, if my terrace shoot is anything to go by. So you may actually be able to pull off an entire day trekking in the Himalaya shooting birds, unlike what I said yesterday, that is in the previous section of the video. That is unbelievable on one hand, but on the other hand, when you consider to put it into perspective that it's about as heavy or as light as my 300mm f2.8 VR, the first generation VR, uh, which I have handheld pretty much all the time, very rarely using a monopod or a tripod, it isn't so unbelievable anymore. But I think it isn't just the weight, it's just the sheer balance of this lens which I think makes it possible. Uh, and I never thought I would say this about a 400mm f2.8, in fact, I haven't even said it about a 200 to 400 mm, which was famously front heavy. I, in fact, even named it bullpup because of its tendency to jump out of your hands, as it were, because of its front heaviness. Whereas this lens, if anything, I find the Z9 pulling it back when shooting it. Um, so it's just the way it's beautifully balanced, which makes this miracle of hand holding a 400 mm f2.8 possible because I don't have any neck pain, shoulder pain, back pain, um, no sort of spasms or sprains, even after an extended shoot, hand holding it entirely. I in fact even shot at a very steep angle, raising it to almost 180 degrees to shoot the moon at various apertures to show you the sharpness of the lens. And even that did not wreak any havoc on any of my body parts. So this is actually revolutionary in a way, even though in not a dramatic fashion the way a PF lens would be, this is still a huge step ahead. Of course, the proof of the pudding will be in the eating. What is most important is to see if um, the lens performs to expectations, especially because it's not cheap. It is ruinously expensive. But for now, uh, that's all I have to say about the lens. Thanks again to Book My Lens for lending me this lens. Please do log on to their website and hire it from them right away. I will see you in another video very soon. Thank you very much for watching.